Hey guys, Major Kate here, and we're finally back with another full series of tactics and strategies. We also got some Black Ops Cold War gameplay in the background, and one of the three maps that were available during the Alpha. This operation takes place in the map called Moscow, a sunset based cityscape in the heart of the USSR, where the CIA and Spetnaz fly over a compromised safe house. Also, in this gameplay, I'm using one of the two tactical rifles available, the M16 which needs a huge buff. But that is another topic for another time. It's been a while, so let's debrief. We started series one talking about the repositioning strategy, getting off the X. If you haven't checked that video out, make sure to hit the link in the top right hand screen. So I thought it would be fitting to kick off series two with another repositioning strategy. And this tactic is the next evolution of getting off the X. This is called the feign retreat. It's best to think of it as a fake or a juke that you would normally do in sports. This tactic banks on controlling the enemy's approach to the engagement, giving them just enough to make them play into your hands. As always, the battlefield is unpredictable and things could go wrong. But in this situation, you will be holding all the cards. The feign retreat is a defensive maneuver and one that builds right on top of getting off the X. It starts off with one or two positions. First, when you're losing the engagement, and second, when you get ambushed. In either case, you will need to quickly get off the X and reposition. The difference between the two is that when you get off the X, you re-engage from a different location, as opposed to the frame retreat, in which you will reposition and then lure the enemy into a dead end, where they will meet their end. The key to this tactic is the position you choose. You need to pick a spot where the enemy can only engage from one side and then launch your counter ambush. This is faster than you think and it's more difficult than you think. You are willingly giving your back to the enemy and leading them in a very short distance. But being fast enough where they can't take the shot. But not too far where he won't follow. And that right there is the trick to this tactic balance. This is an example of how much time this technique gives you. I make them chase me, quickly take out his boy, and just look at that, a whole full second before he realizes where I am. Now. For real this time, this tactic works better in teams. One of you can be beat and load the enemy into that position where the others set up the ambush. Him standing right there, that right there is the bait. The minute he gets shot, he's gonna turn the corner. And look at this poor Bobby. He didn't send a chance. Again, the point of this tactic is to make them chase you. And it's very casualty prone. But if you hold the body in front of the enemy, they won't be able to resist. This is a look at one of the first situations where the engagement isn't in my favor. Make them think I'm retreating. And then just let my Bruin play the music. Shake a bop, bop, bop. This is the last one I have for you guys. And it's an interesting one. So I'm challenging the sniper and immediately my controller disconnects randomly as i get my situation handled he takes a nice clean shot quickly i revive and get off the x now this is solos so he knows i didn't go down so he's gonna try to close that gap 
Notice how I'm closing off his options for re-engagement, as going around the building would just take way, way, way too long. Destroyed. So now, let's do that again. Reposition, make him chase me. And again, they play straight into the ambush. Destroyed. Lesson of the day, boys and girls, is don't follow strange men into hallways. It usually ends bad. There's only one reversal, and that is Tracker. Tracker will let you see enemy footsteps, so the enemy will know exactly where you will be making your last stand. But there's a silver lining, and that is that footsteps are hard to follow in the heat of battle. You need to use that to your advantage. Also, don't fall victim to the fame retreat, because it's exactly as it sounds, a fake retreat. If you're playing in teams and the enemy runs into a small building, 12 out of 10 times, their whole team will be waiting there, ready to slingshot you into the gulag. Don't be Georgie. Don't follow the clown into his twisted, dark, damp drain. You'll find yourself queuing up for another match faster than you can say it. Well, that's all for me today. If you found this video helpful, hit the subscribe button. I got more tactics and strategies on the way. I like rating, so it's appreciated. And if you haven't checked out our last series, now is the time to do so. A quick reminder that I do stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, only on Twitch. Link in the description below. That's all for me today. Major Cade, out.